Right, so here we are. I got sent the Allite Array 2S because I was looking for a new head torch. Because my lead lens I want, the bulb is going very dim at the minute. The, the bulbs die, don't they, after a while? I mean, I've had it for a year. It's doing all right. It's still bright, but it's just, it is going. So, what's in the box? It's a nice compact little box. This is what we're looking for here. Take it out. So we've got your user manual, which I'll be reading. Um, let me take that off, that's the protective film. Charger cable. It's the uh, USB-C type. This looks like a spare clip. And that's the unit. So, to work what you do here, that's your charging port. Yeah, plug it in there. It feels nice and light. There you go. It's a nice streamlined little unit, isn't it? Alright. That weighs nothing. Array 2S. Does it pivot? Yep, it pivots. So you can point it down. Point it up. So... I'm not going to turn it on just a minute because it's insanely bright, apparently. That's it. Nice, well made. Feels good. There's a reflective band that I can see that reflecting in the light. Right. We'll get it out and we'll try it. It's dark now. I had to wait till it got dark. Here we go. We'll do this first bit in the dark. So to operate on and off, right? So on, so press and hold. Comes on, goes off. That's the automatic turn off. So it's on now. Right, single press is on, off, on. And it changes the brightness level. When the headlight's on, you press and hold the switch to change the brightness level. It tells you all this. So you press and hold. Pulses through the three brightness levels. So that's the brightest. Right, so it goes through low, medium, high, low, medium, high. So you just press and hold it. So I'm going to keep it on high. That's the spotlight. When the headlamp's on, double click the switch to cycle through the floodlight, light, and the floodlight and spotlight. So you cycle through, double click. That's just the, um, the low light single light double click to the red ah it's nice and red isn't it double click that's on the floodlight no spotlight no floodlight it tells you all here you know you read the instructions it's easy to follow so I'm going back into the floodlight mode red Right, so SOS in the unlocked state, which it is, quickly triple click the switch. There you go. There's your SOS mode, three clicks. So we'll turn that off. Lock out when the headlamp's off, press and hold the switch over one second. Locks it. Unlock it. Right, same thing. So, we'll get it on the brightness. There. What I'm going to do is, it says, when the headlamp's on, wave your hand to the left. That's it. Wave my hand. <laughs> Just wave my hand across there. So wave it up and down. Is it changing? Yeah, it's getting dimmer. That's just I'm not pressing any switches there. I'm just waving my hand over it. Good. 
We'll have a look at that inside. We're going to do this without actually destroying the camera lens. So single press is on, returns to the mode it was on. So bright. Hand up, hand down. Right, so you press and hold, it should cycle through. Double click. That's the two modes, that's low. If you red. Nothing's floodlight. I think that's the floodlight. Oh, put your hand in front of it. Turn it off. I'm blind now, by the way. And if you turn it back on, it comes back on to the setting it was on before. So it should just be that one light. Which it is. That's it. Very sensitive to your hand going over it. It's good though, I like that. Just imagine if you've got big gloves on and you want to turn it up. You can just do it like that, wave your hand across. So we'll be, this is just the first look at it because I've got the flash sale on today actually, tomorrow. I'll put all the links in the description. I'm going to use it on the next camp so we'll see how good it is in the field. But for now that's just a quick glance at what it can do and how bright it is and it's insanely bright I can't see now I'm not gonna see for the next week Oof. all right all right so this bit added in this is where the neighbors think I'm a madman but let's have a look Right, that's on low. That's bright. Low. That's me doing the hand wave. That's it, lights up the whole street. So if you're going up and down the fells, that's more than enough light to see, isn't it? So that's it. So I plugged it in using the C charger, C type, USB. So switch it on. And it becomes Night Rider. So I would just suggest when all of them turn red or green and stop flashing and it's fully charged. All that light display there was just out of the box. So even when it's fully charged it might be brighter. Who knows? We'll find out on the next camp. I'm going to use it on the next camp. Do a little five minute segment. See how it is on the hills. But for now I'm pretty impressed with that. Up the back alley there was really bright. It's about 100 odd yards and it just lit the whole thing up. So anyway, like I say, flash sale on. It's quite a reasonable price. I can't remember what the price was, but all the links will be in the description. Um, and you can have a look at the website, see what you think. Right. See you at the weekend.